Have you checked those? They got an orifice hole right in the center. Spider webs, dirt, corrosion, right? Those Cracks. can all build up on those tips and clog those holes, right? Or the last one, that colonoid, that colonoid, so the solenoid <laughs> coil in there can be bad. And yeah, it's getting the signal, but no, it's not actually actuating that valve to open. It's just getting voltage, but it's not doing anything with it. Could there, be just there, the valve. Is, there is also another one that you could run into is if voltage is not being supplied to your gas valve. And I've had that before. And that wasn't a gas valve issue. That ended up being a control board issue. Yeah. Does that board these, send the voltage? These little black squares, these are all relays, right? That are hooked up to your heating cooling and fan only circuit so if any one of these just happens to fail and it's not it, you're sending the correct voltage to the board but the board is not sending the correct voltage to the coil and that's why this guy didn't turn on is because that guy is failing this guy didn't tell this what to do because this is bad and these individual relays yes you can find them and yes you can replace them but the time and the cost to replace one of these relays doesn't make sense as to just replace the entire board, right? Because you replace one relay, that board is still used, and you hook it back up, that's not to say that this board won't fail, right? That, not only that, you just replace this part, that has warranty, but the rest of it doesn't. If it fails again, the customer's gonna be like, well, why didn't you just fix it from the beginning? So it's hard to get paid on things and it's hard to have the customer accept those if you don't kind of give them a reasonable or an understandable repair, right? Uh, yeah. And that's for the gas valve? What Re is? Reasons why it wouldn't work or? Yeah, that's one of the few symptoms or a few symptoms. Um.